Welcome back to this episode of the Farmcast. Today we're talking about brand new technology here with Troy Randall. Today we're here at the Legacy of the Plains Museum in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. What we got here in front of us is the G5 Plus display. I just want to introduce that as the successor to the Gen 4 and this is where the future's headed. Uh, none of these are out yet. They're going to start coming in tractors coming here the next model year. So so that being said, Troy, give us some uh, background here on this new display we got. Yep, so this is the new, brand new G5 Plus Universal display that is just been released and about to come out. So for, mainly for model year 24, so these just got announced a couple months ago, but this will be the new replacement for the uh, Gen 4 46.4 universal display we've had since 2018. So it's going to look, uh, of course we don't have it powered up right now, so can't really, <laughs> yeah, can't click yeah, yeah, can't, we're just kind of doing a show and tell right now, but, but so look and feel of the operating system is going to be much, very dislike the Gen 4 platform, except this is going to be a little more polished, a little more refined, a little bit quicker. It's about three times quicker when it comes to processing power, so it's got more power under the hood, uh, bigger and nicer looking display, uh, 1080p high definition display, looks a lot more of this like your uh, iPhone, uh, iPad, iPad, tablet, so much, very similar to what you use pretty much day to day when it comes to the look and feel of it. So, but overall, just a nicer, cleaner package. So, so yeah, here's kind of an overview of the display. So we got this nice big, nice big display here as it's a little bit different from what we're used to in the past, because you can see it's a flat, flat on the yeah, front. Yeah, it's got like so, a glass cover. Yep, yep. so now. much like an iPad or any of our uh, touchscreen devices now devices, so there's no kind of bezel around the outside, so which does kind of give it that nicer, nicer, more luxurious look to it. But if we flip it around the backside here, um, we do have some different ports. We still we still have our standard display port. We have our uh, video port back there too. And then we also have two USB ports over here. We have a power button right there. And then we also have uh, the ethernet right there. And then we have a kind of extended monitor connector right there. So that is one big thing that with is the, the G5. One. So we didn't mention before is, is your Gen 4 extended monitors will not be compatible with the G5. You'll have to get the G5 extended monitor. So just a little caveat there. And like I said, there's ethernet port right there. And then these are gonna be our two new uh, two wire ethernet ports for either hooking up to that advanced two wire ethernet system or the nice thing is too, we ha do have the option now for fancier digital cameras, which are that two wire ethernet. Mm -hmm. So they'll plug in there too. So either that two wire ethernet or a camera. So whatever, whatever after some little bit different options there, but then also does the same, has the exact same mounts as a gen four. So it'll bolt right up to what you have right there. And that's about it for the look and feel of it. So. And so like the, ex with that, the two pin ethernets, that will go hand in hand with the new M modems that were introduced last yep, year. So yep. you no longer have to have an ethernet switch. So if you did purchase one of those, it now is more seamless. Yep, so if you were adding an M modem, you can hook that straight to one of these, no problem. Don't have a, no need to switch or anything else. Correct. Fancy with that in between the modem and the display itself, so. And they also have a newer, smaller version too called the G5 uh, display as well. So this is gonna be the G5 Plus, it's the bigger one, uh, 12 inch display, and we also have the G5, which will be a 10 inch display uh, to kind of replace what we used to have was would have been the 4240 display, so kind of smaller, economical display. So that mm -hmm. the, the G5 will replace that 4240 display. So that being said, you talked about horsepower under the hood. Is this gonna let those CAN messages and those type of things, are we gonna be able to run C and Spray Ultimate and like that stuff even smoother than we already are? Is that the idea? Yep, yep, so that's gonna be the plan. So a big thing this has is Deer's moving to more what we call ethernet system or an ethernet CAN bus. So this actually has two additional ports in the back for that additional two wire ethernet system. So that's gonna enable um, some newer future technologies coming out. One of them, uh, it'll be it'll help definitely help when it comes to scene spray ultimate because there's a lot of messages going on with that system. So uh, the more horsepower, the better. But another one that's gonna be coming out here pretty soon is gonna be our uh, exact shot system that will require a G5 display to run that system due to that two wire ethernet can. So any of our G5 displays, whether it be the universal, um, the integrated that's gonna be coming out in select 24 machines that will have that two wire ethernet system to run those um, upcoming and future going uh, products we're gonna see down the road too, so. Okay, so you hit on the upgrade for the Gen 4 customer. How about the customers that are a little farther back in the 2630 area, um, even farther back than that? What benefits could they see by making that jump to the G5? So of course, this newer newer tech, um, all the new features that come with it, all the latest and greatest John Deere features that come with the displays. Uh, and one thing, 
one benefit of these displays is going to be some permanent activation. So in base with these, we'll have auto track. We'll have the options for suction control with these displays as well. And then also options for permanent row sense as well. And, and to hit on things that I think Deere said is as it gets better with time and they took a lot of customer appeal is they were asking for more stuff in base. And this is what this display brought, right? I mean, it, we section control used to be a subscription this is it's in base now yeah so we're, we're going all, almost kind of going back to how it was in the 2630 2600 days Correct. so where we had permanent auto track permanent section control permanent activations these are kind of starting to adopt some of that so we have permanent mm -hmm. auto track permanent section control permanent row sense but then we also have the ability to have all those advanced uh, advanced licenses that we've had for the past couple of years on the gen 4 platform such as uh, auto track implement guidance turn automation machine sync auto path and now infield data sharing are all going to be part of of the G5 advanced license, which will be a subscription based either one year or three year for all our universal displays, all our um, G5 integrated displays as well too. So depending on the machine, depending on the platform, that subscription will be definitely less than it was on the Gen mm -hmm. 4, which will be much nicer. And the cool thing about that too is on certain platforms, we have the brand new um, Starfire 7000 receiver with the SFRT case subscription. So in certain scenarios, we'll be able to bundle that, yep. bundle that license together with the SFRTK so we get kind of a discounted price for both advanced uh, G5 advanced license and also that SFRTK for one to three years so it'll be kind of a win-win for certain Absolutely. guys depending if they are going to go to SFRTK they'll be able to utilize both for a discounted price which will be uh, uh, kind of a win-win for certain guys depending which which platform which direction they want to go in their operations so and in my opinion it sounds like a win-win for almost everybody because just license management stuff is going to go down with this yep, display yep. right so and only and they, they've simplified a lot because with the 4640 that was always kind of a big you know I wouldn't say pinch uh, disadvantage but pinch point of that mm -hmm. because guys in the past they've always liked to have their permanent activations uh, coming from a 26 yeah yep. and that's and the, the weird part was that's always out was on the gen 4 too so we had you know permanent license on the 4600 but the 4640 was always subscription based so that was confused guys too so these are the same whether it be the universal or the integrated it's there's yeah. pretty much yeah the same same across the universal integrated no more confusion there of what subscriptions what isn't back and forth yeah, so it's pretty much, much yep. yeah g5 is g5 when it comes to permanent activations and licenses as well too so that will help simplify things and then plus make it just easier to comprehend within an operation as well yeah so. and just make it more synchronous with yes. their entire fleet right yep, yep. depending on whatever you're running it'll all do the same stuff yep, so. yep. and the nice thing about that too is since he's had the same operating system as the gen 4 outgoing gen 4 right now these do talk to a gen 4 as well so for the short term here, they'll both be able to cross compatible. So if you have a, a Gen 4 display and a G5 display, they will talk to each other for things like machine sync, uh, infield data sharing. So as long as they uh, have that same software version on there, they will be able to talk. Um, unlike when we went from 2630 to Gen 4, that was like going from, mm -hmm. you know, Windows XP to Windows 10. Yeah, there was a big, big jump, <laughs> whole, yeah. whole different uh, operating system there, so they didn't really talk to each other. But yeah, these are uh, pretty much the same operating system, same software in the background, so they talk to each other uh, uh, very easily. So, And if you guys are looking and are interested in buying one of these at this moment, you guys can get with your local dealership and we can get you sorted out that way. Well, again, thank you guys here for joining us. This is me and Troy talking about the G5 Plus. Um, if you guys have any comments or concerns, feel free to drop a like or a comment down below. Um, and again, this is the Farmcast signing off. Thank you.